I can cut this from here and I can use this as a pen stand. Yeah. I can I, I can cut here and I can use this as a pen stand. Yeah. I'm not making a new thing from this. I'm using it for a different purpose without yeah. throwing it out. So this so how was your day? Nice? Yeah, what do you do? Nice. Something special? Did you, do anything special or practice, learn something new, new words, new phrase, new idioms. No, sir. This, today I'm a little bit busy. It was a little bit. Sorry? Today, today I'm a little bit. Uh, I, um, I was a little bit busy, so that's why I couldn't learn anything. I couldn't get time to learn anything. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So normally, uh, when do you learn something like in the morning, you read something, study something in the morning or evening? Evening, evening and night time. When I, evening time, when I teach my son at that time, when I get new words and after that, mm -hmm. suppose I'm free this time. So I, when I watch any kind of videos and I get new words, so I mm -hmm. try to write it down. Okay. Okay. So you are from west bengal right which city kolkata or Jai which city jaipalguri jaipalguri have Jai you Pai ever tra traveled outside west bengal yeah where all where all have you gone i uh, i went to sikkim <laughs> i went to nepal twice <laughs> Yeah, Ornachal, Assam. So, so, in your opinion, which is the best place in terms of natural beauty, greenery, cleanliness, less pollution? Which is the best place? I can say this, sir, uh, because Nepal is out of uh, out of our country. So it mm -hmm. is another uh, but even another then country. even then if you like it just tell me what did you like about nepal okay so i when i visited nepal so uh, there is one place it's called pokhara pokhara so i love pokhara i love that place because the plate uh, the place pokhara is very clean and mm -hmm. like no very like no i love that place uh people very natural i can say that that place uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Green, neat and clean, less pollution, less vehicles. Hmm? Yes, yes. Even that you can't see like no any plastic, any garbage here and there. People use garbage, garbage. garbage. Mm -hmm. garbage. So how do you compare Jaipal Kuri, Jaipal Guri and Pokhara? How do you compare yes, that? People, everybody like no in in India. I have seen that like no people use people don't use um, dustbin. They just spit here and there, and they you know, whatever they eat, they throw on the road. So this pollution, hygiene, cleanliness, this is a concern in India right yes. and you are very much worried about that why these people even though they are highly educated you can say they yes. litter all around litter this thing what they just take a paper throw it so cigarette throw it drink something throw the bottle yes. throw the can throw the tetra pack yes. eat a banana throw the peel anywhere so this is disgusting. And use plastic also, and it uh, like everywhere plastic. plastic, plastic, plastic. Plastic. It doesn't. There's no mean... harm in using the plastic. Of course, it is not good for the nature. But you should put it in the corresponding garbage. If there is a garbage bin for plastic, you put it there. Don't throw it here and there. Don't litter your surroundings. Okay. Yeah. So if you get a chance. To relocate from your Jaipalguri or new Jaipalguri, which place would you choose? If you are, want to relocate to a nature-friendly, a people-friendly place or healthy, more healthy, organic place, where would you relocate? Mm. including all which all places which anywhere any part anywhere in the globe anywhere 
on the earth would you go to if in india would you go to uh, jammu or kashmir nat- natural beauty i heard the jammu pollution kashmir is and less meghalaya me shillong meghalaya shillong is a nice place nice place yeah, shillong is also nice very place. beautiful place and the people so are you are concerned there. about the pollution right you are very much concerned so you must be having a lot of vehicles lot of cars going scooters two wheelers bikes so what do you think about a electric car which will not emit any carbon dioxide any carbon emission less pollution what's your take on electric vehicles yeah, what do you think yeah electric vehicles it's also good because like mm-hmm. no it uh, doesn't it can't uh, pollute our uh, it can it doesn't uh, emit it it can't emit any kind of like no gas emit emit it, it, it can't, can't poisonous no poisonous gas nothing no mm-hmm. exhaust because the vehicle is But, run even even four wheelers buses everything run by electricity mm-hmm. yes nice yes so, so you like it talking. but uh, i had noticed these days like no especially youngster what they do mm-hmm. they use bike even that like no they are going the local shops and anywhere they are going mm-hmm. they every every time they use a uh, bike they don't even they go to like no they don't, don't try to go on foot and then they, they don't use bicycle also aha uh-huh. so you mean that we should try to go by foot if it is a very nearby place if you want to go to shop rather than taking your car or bike you can go by foot or you can take your bicycle yes it's not necessary to that if i go in, in everywhere it's necessary to go by by bike even that the way they run bike they the way they ride bike they they then they don't think like no that what they can destroy someone's life or otherwise they can destroy their lives also rash the driving you mean rash driving yes so now we have been talking about the pollution and being eco friendly what is eco friendly means what do you have you heard this word eco friendly eco friendly it means eco means our ecological system our nature our surroundings you know we are we must be very friendly to them means you should not try to damage the ecosystem even if you are using some lights unnecessarily you are spoiling our eco because electricity production also it pollutes our atmosphere so try to reduce our electricity usage yeah. similarly you go to by foot or take cycle you are saving your ecosystem yes yes have you heard the term recycling what is recycling yes yes when you like mm, no- yes recycling it means like no suppose when we use any kind of uh, any things and after that we throw it so mm-hmm. if we think like now how can we use it again how can we recycle mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. okay say more say more recycle so now i i just clean this this is a paper so we can put it in a particular garbage bin they can use it and they can do some chemical processing they can use technology and they can make more paper from this use the paper i have yeah. a paper here i can recycle this paper using the technology yeah. now this paper is already used it there are a lot of printing and everything you can use it yeah. to make new paper recycle the paper yes. so have you heard the term upcycling upcycle upcycling recycling upcycling upcycling means i don't know upcycling means so now, now this is a a bottle it's a plastic bottle okay okay so if buy, i buy this this is water so once you drink the water you throw it so either yeah. you can recycle you can make another bottle with this that is recycling 
so they will some people will buy this or they will take it they will take it to recycling plants and they will completely use some technology some chemical processing they can make new bottles or something new so upcycling means after drinking this you can use this for you can use this bottle for some other purpose yes ah indian women they do something like that every day even that like in my house that when mm. i purchase anything that uh, so for example in indian mm. women what we do um, when we purchase a holly bond bita mm. everything so after finishing that after yeah, finishing you can use it for we wash it and we storage of your grocery you wash it and you you don't throw it yeah, either indian either you okay. can recycle that or you can upcycle that so say for example i can cut this from here and i can use this as a pen stand yeah i can i i can cut here and i can use this as a pen stand yeah. i'm not making a new thing from this i'm using it for a different purpose without yes. throwing it out so this is called as upcycling up but if i use this paper to make more paper good paper uh, then it is called recycling like suppose you have cardboard box you bought something you bought a tv it will be fully packed in a cardboard box then you can give it to someone they will take it and they will recycle it and they will make a different box yeah and sometimes right? i upcycle yeah. it sometimes like no when yeah i uh, i put like no some copies also in that uh, cartoon box yeah or or you can plant some small saplings some small plants you can plant you know yes. and you can use it as a pot flower pot or something if you have a bottle a big bottle you can use it as a flower pot anything yes. can be now without damaging our ecosystem we should so that is recycling that is upside yes. have you heard the word deforestation 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 when you are talking about our nature our ecology ecosystem pollution deforestation means cutting the trees Definitely. felling the trees so it is a crime in our country to cut you know without any permission or unnecessary or for your own benefit they cut and sell so even the people they go into the woods in the forest and cut so this is called as reducing the number of trees is called as deforestation in fact you should do afforestation afforestation deforestation opposite is afforestation what do you think about what is that deforestation when you mm -hmm. set tree or when we uh, like no when you plant more trees that is afforestation which is better for our nature deforestation or afforestation 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 means you should be able to plant more trees in your surroundings if you have some compound you should or in the road there are there are so many people there's one lady in karnataka she has planted more than 5 lakh saplings on the highway and every day she will take some water she has a vehicle she will take water and water all the newly planted saplings and she was given a padma award by the government yeah. padma award for the government so that is called as because we have realized that the more trees we plant the lesser pollution the lesser pollution you must have seen when you are traveling on a highway on both sides there will be trees mm. Yes. why we plant trees on the highway especially on the highway mostly uh, on the highway yeah I highway if you are going from jaipalguri to kolkata or any highway national highway express highway you will see i uh, express yeah, highway in the middle highway. yeah both sides why 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 because uh, it pro uh, if there is like you no know, lots of trees so it protect from accident or anything hmm? something both sides no see when in the express highway there will be millions of cars passing 
every hour, every day. And these cars are emitting what? Carbon dioxide. Carbon, yeah. carbon dioxide. Yeah. And, and what happened? Most of this will be stopped or absorbed by these trees. By trees, yeah. Was her date? <laughs> That is why we, because that will reduce the pollution. Because all the one yeah. car going, there will be carbon emission. This carbon will be absorbed by the trees. If you come to America, you can see millions of trees all over. You won't see oh, any I place also... barren, barren. On both the sides, there will be a lot of many trees. And not only that, you know, that will give you good shade. So you can have an easy and a beautiful drive. You can see the nature, na nature. you can see the natural beauty and you will enjoy your drive. Less pollution. So just imagine people living on the sides of the road if there are no trees. More pollution. Their life will be so miserable. They have all kinds of diseases, cough, lung problem, health issues, skin problems, skin itching, everything will be there, unless you take care of your pollution levels. For that, you need to plant more trees. Afforestation. So what kind of trees are these? Can you plant any kind of trees on the roadside? No, can no. you go for banana, banana saplings? Can you go for mango tree? Can you see mango trees on the roadsides? Hi no. Highway? Why not? No. Why not mango trees? Yeah, I think. Why not banana? Why not jackfruit? Why not apple? Why not orange? Yeah. Only trees which gives you shade and flowers are planted on the highway because if you plant any fruit bearing trees there will be a lot of animals like monkeys or yes. you know something will come and yes, eat yes, and, and, at the end or even people will climb on the tree and start plucking the fruits and that will cause danger that will cause a lot of accidents so no fruit bearing trees will be you cannot see any any kind of fruit bearing tree only flower bearing and shade trees which will give a lot of shade so you know the word recycling upcycling afforestation and deforestation deforestation what is about solar power have you heard solar power yes what tell me more on that what is solar power? When you use like no uh, solar energy. Or solar energy. What is solar energy? <laughs> In solar energy, we use for electric, uh, for electricity and so many things. Like no. What is, what is the solar? Who is the solar? When like no uh, uh, solar. I solar can't... means sun sun, sun yes sun yeah. so you get a lot of energy from sun so you can yes. use the technology and convert this solar energy into electric energy, energy. or electricity yeah. you can produce electricity using the solar energy you might have seen on top of our house on the terrace you can install a lot of panels we call it as solar panels and that panels will absorb the sunlight and they will convert it into electricity so you need not connect your house to the electricity board or west bengal electricity board or Tamil Nadu electricity board you can and there is system to store this electricity produced from yeah. the solar energy and you can use for your light and your water heating like your fan your ac everything, everything you can use solar yes. energy. that and is the purest solar, form purest form mm -hmm. yes it helps to reduce electricity bill also that will reduce the so any energy like you are getting crude oil you are getting petroleum or you are uh, uh, electricity you are making so any energy what you are producing it should be sustainable it should long or last for the generations to come 
Do you think that a petroleum products that will last for another like 100 generations? No, maybe another no, 50 no. years, we don't have petrol or diesel. Yes, but solar yes. system, solar energy, will it we, be depleted? We, we, no, we can use forever, forever. You can produce energy from wind. You must have seen windmills. Have yes. you seen windmills? Windmills? Have you seen windmill? If you go somewhere, you can see tall towers and one fan is rotating. Like yes, this. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This is called yeah. windmills and you are producing electricity from that. Windmill, solar energy. So do you think that uh, one day wind energy will be completely depleted? No. As far as this earth is there, there will time. be wind yeah. So you can use it. So this type of energy is called and as sustainable resources. Sustainable energy. You can have it until there is mankind left on this earth. Even after that. So whatever we do, we should it should be sustainable, long lasting. What do you call long, long lasting. lasting? So you must be hearing this word organic, organic food. Organic yes. vegetable, organic yes. rice, organic milk. What is this organic? Or, organic food, it means which is uh, which is grown mm -hmm. without chemical. Without chemicals. Natural manure. Organic. Yes. No, if you plant something in your house, you will not. But if you buy something from the market, like tomatoes, vegetables, everything, no, they have chemical, they add a lot of chemicals for getting more yield like if you use something they will get instead of five kilo you can make 25 kilo you can make 30 kilo you can make it 50 kilos but they are using chemicals which we consume those products which is harmful to our health so now there is a high pitch from the people they all go with organic products yes natural products like enough you go to beauty parlor they will ask you you want organic products for your facial uh -huh. which one do you go for organic <laughs> or chemical based chemical based organic. chemical based so that's why if you see some celebrities they are haggard their body is a face is sagging because we have been using a lot of chemical products if you go for like some people say oh i use curd on me my face for my facial curd Natural. Yeah, nowadays, like you know, people also use they are using Very homemade product. Homemade products. Even what do you mean I by also home? use homemade homemade product. I don't. I seldom go to parlor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why? Why you are scared of that? Because I don't like like no any the, those kind of uh, facial uh, those kind of products also doesn't suit on my skin. Okay. So I have yeah, my I like question. Homemade, homemade, so uh, I have a question. Should should the people go for organic products or not? This is my question. Your answer should start with in my perspective. In my perspective. Your answer should start with this. In my perspective. What is your answer? Should we all go for organic products? Yeah, definitely we should go for organic product because uh, it helps like, those products, organic products definitely help for our health also and as well as skin also. But uh, mm -hmm. organic product, when we use uh, organic product, it takes time to for it takes time for uh, like it takes time to glow and for anything. So that's why uh, like no, that's why we we are human and especially ladies they don't have that much patience and they go, want instant glow so then that's why instant result that's why like you no know, some ladies they use a chemical product but organic product is really good in my perspective in your perspective this is a nice word always try to use that okay now next question you should start your answer with if you ask me if you ask me you should start with this my question is give me three things we can do to be to save our earth or to save our surroundings three things to save or to work against this pollution to to reduce pollution 
three things your answer should start with if you ask me okay so if you hmm. ask if you ask me i have to tell you the most important thing mm -hmm. that yeah, most like important this. thing is we have start to start ready. start one more time if you ask me if so you give me three me, most important things to save our mother earth if you ask me that uh, three most important things to save our earth the first one for me we have to reduce plastic because uh, as i told you at the beginning of our conversation plastic doesn't melt with our, uh, soil and if, when we burn it uh, uh, like no it uh, produce it produce uh, chemicals also. a lot of chemicals especially carbon mm. carbon so that's why we should reduce plastic and the second thing secondly is, secondly and, and secondly uh, Secondly, we should stop deforestation. Thirdly, and finally, you should reduce the water consumption. Yes. You should save water. water. Yes, water. Do you because, know three, yes. three R's, three R, letter R, three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle water. Reduce the consumption of water. First R. Second R is recycle. And third one, reuse. 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 Yes. If you start doing this, you can save a lot of water. You can yes. save a lot of water. Reduce people the water. Waste water uh, people yeah. waste too, like, no, lost too much water. Yeah. Sometimes you're water. washing something, you're cleaning something. If the water is okay, you can use it in your garden instead of putting it in the drain. So that yes. is like kind of recycling. Like if you are yes. using like uh, 10 liters of water a day or uh, 25 liters of water, you can reduce it to 20 liters, 15 liters. And if yes. some water can be reused, try to reuse. For example, if you are using an AC, there will be dripping from the AC, condensate from the AC. Some people, they collect that in a bucket and they put it in the garden for watering their plants. Yes. So a three R reduce, reuse, reuse recycle. recycle. If you can, if you are aware of all these things, you can save your life. And this life, this earth or our nature, we have inherited from our children. We have to give it yes. back to our children. We have to give it yes. back to our children. It's not yours. You should yes. make it. You should make it for very healthy, children. congenial, and hygienic for our children or for the next generations to come. That's true. Namaskar. Okay. <laughs> Bye, sir. So Thank you so much. Try to, try to make more points on this topic, environment, or how to save our environment. Yes. Okay.